Welcome everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day because we have a wonderful guest here to speak with us live. Miss Sybil Luddington, hello. Thank you for joining us today. Of course, I'm happy to be here. So there's been a lot of talk about the face of the new $10, and some people think you fit the bill. What do you have to say about this? <laughs> well, it is quite an honor to be nominated, and I do believe I fit the bill, as you say. And why is that? Well, during my life, I've lived in the colonies. Most people know the story of Paul Revere and how he rode throughout the night to warn people of the British tacking. What many do not know is that I did the exact same thing, yet I do not get as much credit as the famed patriot. And you believe you deserve more credit? I do, in fact. My father was a colonel in the war at the time. I rode on my horse Star throughout the night, not the same night as Paul Revere, to warn colonists as well as militiamen under the control of my father when I was only sixteen, and I rode forty miles during the pouring rain. Forty miles is about twice as much as Paul Revere, which was about nine hours. I used a stick to prod my horse and knock on doors, and even to fend off a band of highway robbers. I warned the militia in time, and they soon engaged in the Battle of Ridgefield. After the fact, I was actually honored by George Washington himself, who, in fact, I believe already holds his place in U.S. currency. He does indeed, and wow, that's quite a story you've got there. It sounds to me like you definitely deserve more credit than you get, and it also sounds like your family had importance in the colonies as well. Am I correct in saying that? Yes, my father was Colonel Henry Luding Luddington, and my nephew, Harrison Luddington, was the governor of Wisconsin. My husband's revolutionary services were membership in the Connecticut Continentals, which was a formation within the Continental Army, and naval duty. I would definitely say your relations also make you qualified. So another question, do you believe it is important for w a woman to be on the $10 bill? Absolutely. Women have never gotten enough credit, to my knowledge, and they definitely deserve it. It was worse back in my day, but there are still many problems. Changing the little things like this shows the new generation that sexism is a thing of the past. These things can also make women everywhere feel more confident and feel like they have a proper place in our country. Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have today, Mrs. Luddington. Good luck and thank you for joining us today. And thank you for having me. This has been a live report with Sybil Luddington. Thanks for tuning in.